Hey amazing creators, it's time to fill some pages in my DIY art journal and you have seen this before because I actually did the cover for it, decorated the cover for it here on YouTube a little while back so I will link up that video below. Now the inside of the book and how I made the book, I actually did that with my patrons over on Patreon. So I talked all about how I made this book and we worked through actually making a few different DIY art journal books. So I'll link those videos up as well for those of you who want to come and join me on Patreon or if you're already on Patreon and you miss them. Now I thought I would take you through a couple of pages in this book and hopefully it will inspire you for your own DIY art journals too or even if you're just working in a bought art journal. Now I have no particular plans for this page, these pages, but well I do have, I want to use some ephemera for this. I didn't know where to start so I just picked some colour that will contrast with the orange page that I've got here. So there's a mix of different surfaces on in this book. I've got some coloured paper, I've got drawing paper, I've got all sorts of different arty bits and bobs, which I do talk through a little bit more in that other video. But what I really love about this is that you get that varied size of the pages. So you've got some pages that aren't complete. And it's really fun working in a book like this because you know you get it's almost like using pop-ups, isn't it? Or an interactive element in your work. And you're you're having to think on different levels with it. So I love that tactile nature of it. And it really makes you want to turn the page and see how that one page sort of leads into another page. So I thought that what I would do is just to make sure that I got colour on all elements on this flip up page, I don't really know what to call it, sort of varied page, I thought what I would do is I'd put a random shape on this one. So on the left hand side it's just splodges of paint and colour, just I don't know, a sort of rough coverage. And then on the right hand side I've just put a tiny little bit more of a shape in there. And this will hopefully connect all of those pieces up together or connect those two pages together but then also on that right hand page where you've got all the flip up pieces it will connect those together as one but it will also give me a jumping off point when I come to work on the other side. Okay so you know what I am just going to go straight in with my ephemera. I've put the colour down, it's, it's pretty dry but not like completely dry. And I wasn't really sure where I wanted to go from here, so I just jumped straight in and started adding the ephemera to one of these pages. And I'm getting really good now at just doing and not overthinking. It's taken a lot of practice and working at it. You know me, I'm a self-confessed overthinker and I like to share these little tips with the, you know, if you're an overthinker as well, help you get through your overthinking. So the ephemera that I'm using, it's actually is another patron thing, it's actually from my October Digi Delightfuls tier download. And I've been putting together these exclusive packs of art elements every month for my Digi Delightfuls and the Video Fanatics tiers, they can both get these. But I've been enjoying playing with them as well, so that's why they're sort of creeping in to my work that's outside of Patreon. So you know, I hope they give you some ideas for adding in some ephemera collage into your work, even if you're not using these particular art elements. But a bit of a confession, this is not the actual colour of these pieces in the pack. When I printed mine out the first time, so I always do a test print, of course, and I printed mine out but my printer wasn't working, the blue nozzle was blocked. Uh, so <laughs> I didn't want to waste them because they were a perfectly good printout just without the blue. <laughs> so I thought I would use them anyway, waste not want not hey? So I'm really just placing the elements just anywhere, I've cut them out, they're printed on very ordinary paper, just printer paper, there's nothing special about this paper at all and I think they make for quite a nice little random cluster. So I've used matte medium to glue them in place and again I didn't want to overthink it, I just got them down there. So do you remember that whole doodle collage thing not so long ago? If you haven't seen those videos I'll link those up in the description as well in case you missed them. Well this is a bit like a doodle ephemera collage. So it's a case of having already cut the pieces out but not thinking about where they're going to go, just putting them down. 
Now whilst I'm at it, I've actually got some leftover bits from a project that I made with the November Digi Delightful packs as well. And you see I got my printer working for this one because there's blue. Now these are actually two parts of the same illustration. I cut the illustration into sections because I wanted to use just the middle section. But I had these two leftover pieces and I didn't want to waste them, not very good at throwing stuff away, so I thought I would keep them and then when I came to do this page I thought they would be perfect for this page. So I want the one of these at least to hang over the pages, so that three, those three pages that are there, those flips, those flip up bits, I want one section on each of these. Now it probably would have made more sense to cut them into three sections and then line them up as you stuck them down but I didn't do that. I went for sticking them down in pieces and then trimming it off, <laughs> lining it up. You can see it's kind of a crazy way of doing it but I don't know, it just felt sensible at the time. So I'm trying to do that really carefully and also try not to just stick all the pages shut in the process. Okay, so whilst that is drying, I will go work on the other page. And I think we are going to end up with two very different pages. I'm already getting that feeling for this. So let's see how it progresses. Right, so I think it's doodle time and I've been doing more and more of these relaxed kind of pieces recently. There is something very freeing about just adding colour here, adding marks, doodles, now adding in ephemera too, which is my new latest thing, and just following where it leads into a sort of randomness. It's all about letting go, isn't it? So this time I've used the ephemera to inspire my colour choices. And this is something I like to do quite a lot, is to link pieces together as I go. If you've got a layer that's a different colour, you've gone for something contrasting, then you can always bring the page back together again by picking out a colour from that layer and, and going with that. So I've done that, I've gone with something that matches with the printouts. Just a little bit, I mean it's not a perfect match, it's, it's just meant to harmonise with it. And having something that you can glue onto a, a piece like this gives you loads of options then on how to harmonise harmonize it to the rest of the piece. Right, well I think this needs another colour to link the pieces together a little bit more and I think that a Naples yellow red will do the trick. One because I am just loving this colour at the moment, it is turning up in quite a lot of my pieces as you might have noticed. <laughs> I also think it will contrast really nicely with that blue that's in the background. It also kind of goes a little bit with the orange on that other page, maybe? So there's a lot of similar colours going on and it picks out some colour from those ephemera pieces. So that's going to help it all harmonise together. And I want the collaged elements to look like they belong there, not like they've just been stuck, which of course they have, they've just been stuck on there, but that's not how I want them to look. So hopefully this will bring this piece together a little bit more. And I do a bit of mark making with this as well, a bit of a dot pattern, uh, only for a little bit of texture really. And I didn't want the colour to be too blocky or too covering, so then adding a dot pattern will break it up a little bit and give you that texture and make it a little bit more interesting. Anyway, moving on. So I'm swapping between these two pages back and forth. So once I need something to dry on one page, I'll swap over to the other page. And I do this a lot in my work. I, I usually tell you about it when I'm working, you know, I'll tell you when I go off and work on some other page. But you don't often get to see what I'm working on in one session. So it's a little bit different for today. You're seeing both these pages side by side as I sort of switch between them.
and don't ask me where the flower came from, it just did and this ephemera piece was actually, it started as a flower, then I cut it up and I don't know if the, the knowledge that it started as a flower is what made me want to make it back into a flower. And I wanted to add some more colour to the background on this to make the flower stand out a bit more from the background to make it pop and it works particularly well sort of lifting the leaves out from the background and it's a really great technique that I've been enjoying a lot of at the moment. Now as I swap back to the other side, for some reason I felt like I wanted to add some graphite marks with a pencil and some scribble writing on here, which is completely different to how I actually thought the graphite would go on here. I don't know what happened, I sort of, I started with like single lines, I thought a single line would go down nicely but I don't think a single line was really showing up so I ended up doing multiple lines instead and then the scribble writing. And a little bit more mark making to bring out that first colour combo of the blue and turquoise that I started this page off with. Just now another layer over the top to just bring in a bit more texture and harmonise this piece. So back and forth, back onto the other piece. And once I got to there I was letting that paint drive so I swapped back on to my flower and went in with some outline detail. Now I have been thinking about doing some doodle pattern on this page or just some mark making for this side too but I don't know something wasn't really clicking there so I thought I would get the line work down and see where that took me. I swapped back onto the other page and did some more black paint pen scribble writing on this. I think these two pages are done so which is your favourite? Let me know in the comments. Now I hope you're ready to go and do some art of your own and you're all inspired and fired up to go but if you are needing some more inspiration go and watch these videos next and I'll see you over there.